Hey everyone, how's it going? Ah, I tricked you, you thought I was J-Rose. No, it is Joey. I got a good impression of J-Rose in that uh, episode 3 highlights. That is up right now, but um, hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Joey, sometimes I play games, and right now is one of those times. We are now on episode 6, we are recording episode 6 of Pokemon Crystal Legacy, and I'm trying to get recalibrated here because I've been... Uh, doing things a little out of order for the most part. I mean, like, I just put up the highlights to episode 3. I already had episode 4 recorded. Episode 5 is recorded, obviously. And I'm trying to get in a better consistency of when I'm uploading the highlights to an episode and then uploading a new organic episode all in all. So the last episode, uh, Suicune, a sprite of Suicune was over here. We battled it, and then the, uh, you know, everyone's favorite NPC, Yusween, came up, battled him, defeated him. And that's where we left it, um, and we are now in Cianwood, and our primary goal is to defeat Chuck. So the team, I've, I have done nothing off stream since the last episode, so we have uh, all these guys here ready to go, ready for action. But I just realized we're probably going to need HM Strength for this gym, if memory serves me correct. And that brings us to a question of... Do we want to put strength on one of these fine, fine mons, or do we want to go and get one out of the box or catch one for the sense of use for the sake of using strength? It will definitely be needed later, at a later time, but again, it's just sacrificing that whole move slot. Um, we do have Ty Rogue. I think at level five, Ty Rogue can learn. Um strength but then then the sacrifice we're making there is a member of the party well we don't have to deal with it right away let's take care of the first couple battles and of course chuck's wife uh elizabeth what's her name she seems like a, like a smoker wife you cross the sea to get here that must have been hard it would be much easier if your pokemon knew how to fly but you can't use fly without the city's gym badge if you beat the gym leader here come see me I'll have a nice gift for you. So it's kind of a slap in the face. And that's how it was in the original game. This isn't like a, a Smith um, redo. And by the way, in case people don't know by now, this is a hack by Smith Plays Pokemon. I've left his channel in the description. And I left a super chat for him the other day, um, which was really... Oh my gosh. I've never done that um, and wanted to give him a little token of my appreciation. And it was cool that he read out... Um, my channel name and uh, just uh, hey if you ever get around to watching these I know you're a busy dude but uh, I appreciate the hard work keep it up or keep it oop I don't know if that's how Canadians say up hey friend thanks for coming over you wanna watch a movie eh yeah let's watch up oh you mean oop we don't have up we have oop demonetized okay what are your voices gonna be my Pokemon and I are bound to get, get, to get her, her by friendship. Our bond will never be broken. Except when Kadabra, I got something for that, that tushy. Ha! Black Belt Yoshi. Wahoo! Oh, what do you think the other one has, Hitmonchan? So, rainy day today, I just needed a, a break, so I thought come here and uh, play some Pokemon because the the thing I was mentioning earlier with like the posting of the highlights and then posting a new episode this is the easy part playing the game is the easy part it's the editing that takes more of a project and I do all my own editing even if I got to the point where I could afford a team you know somebody to edit for me I kind of love the fact that the editing software, the editing, is my playground. We got all sorts of cats and stuff. It's just like, it's it's so much fun. It does take up time, though, especially considering how long these videos have run. Oh, this isn't real! Up, up, you see what you did? We martial artists for nothing. Yeah, so when these when these videos run over an hour and a half, close to two hours, again, I know from a viewer standpoint, I like videos like this. But man, it is a 
it, it is it is a bit much to go through and edit. And my process has basically been play the video back, get timestamps of what I consider to be funny, um, and then from there put it, sequence it. Not everything makes it in. And a lot of ideas, believe it or not, like don't come up until the editing point. So a lot of those like gags with the cat characters and the fake products, like they really don't come up until the editing process. Porky to twenty. Do we need Porky to have the XP share right now? Ah, that's shocking. Porky's evolving. Let's go. About time. That's why we had the XP share on him. Now he's gonna be my choke. Ah, oh, wonderful. There it is. Congratulations, your Porky evolved into Machoke. La 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 la. Good stuff, good stuff. Yes, yes, good stuff indeed. And uh, we get to change Machomp into Machomp. I'm going to miss Machomp a little bit, but it's still Porky. And uh, our reminds me, didn't even go over our episode objectives. Of, well, we're going to defeat Chuck, evolve at least one Pokemon. I wasn't expecting it to happen this quick into the episode, but we got us Machoke. Um, and we're going to give Amphi the Lean. Yeah, that is the Ampharos at the top of the lighthouse. The secret potion. I'm just going to call it Lean. And then at the very least, talk to Lance at the Lake of Rage. I don't know if we'll start the rocket hideout today. It depends. We still got to beat, you know, Chuck and everything. Um, our Why Are You Betting prep brought to you by the good people at Good Golly Gosh, the breakfast you are for children and dogs. A number of times that I groan in this episode. Ah, oh, ah, oh, stuff like that. Those ones don't count. Um, they are the over and under is three and a half. And I think we're going to be doing it less because we didn't even have a whiteout in the last episode. So that um, under zero and a half cleared. Yeah, we're going to need strength. Words are useless. Let your fists do the talking. More than words is all I needed you to show your fists. Then you wouldn't have to say that you love me. Cause you use your fists. It sounded a lot better in the Backyard Football video, the first one. If you haven't checked it out, please do already do so. Um, you know, as this channel grows, I definitely want everyone to reach out and let me know what you want to see from this channel. Because, hey, we got one of you. I knew we were going to return to Backyard Football. That was kind of what got this channel started. And I knew we were going to play Pokemon because, come on, it's Pokemon. Uh, but uh, where else are we going to go? Backyard Baseball, at least at the time of this recording, I have not started anything in that department. And we'll have to branch out to other games. Ellipses. Okay, so... We have like a lose-lose situation here. I could sh teach someone strength... Um, you know, we still talked about if we were going to keep like Onyx or not. I feel like... We don't know how this game is going to be, and I just, I don't know if I want to run with an HM, a utility HM Pokemon like Tyrogue, because then also you're talking about just putting, you know, somebody in the PC the whole time, and that could be a problem. Cut was one thing. Strength is a little bit more. So, I mean, Porky, Quilliam, and Rocky, I feel like Rocky would be the best bet right now. He's got Dig, and he's got... Harden and Rocky. In fact, you know what? You know what? I even let me, let me be a little smart about this. Who has the highest attack out of these guys? Onyx at 36. Or well, not you. Porky at 73. Quilliam at 43. I mean, if we're going off of stats, yeah, that makes sense. Low kick and karate chop. Let's take a look at the descriptions here. So, low kick, an attack that may cause flinching, and then Karai Chop, a high critical hit ratio. Um, this is back when like these definitions were simplified. I thought low kick meant that the heavier the Pokemon was, that that would have meant the... Seismic Toss, we have not even used Seismic Toss once yet. I mean... 
I'm just trying to think. You know, I guess it's not bad for Porky to have a non -fight, another non-fighting attack. But what has it got? So it has... It's all offense. It's got no um, type of um, status move, stat move, or anything. But again, if I'm, I'm, I think Velicious is gonna be the one Mon that we really don't use in um, this battle. I just don't see it happening. So we're gonna go get Tyrogue. Be right back. Be right back. Okay, we're back. So I added Tyrogue to the party, and you know that Tyrogue is only going to be an HM user because it has no nickname. So I taught this little level 5. Is, I mean, he's 5 years old. I don't know. Uh, strength and Rock Smash, because there are rocks to smash up here, and I'm just kind of curious to see what's up here. I know sometimes Pokemon appeared in these. I thought sometimes you got an item. So let's see. Nothing. Cool. Cool. Just tease us with these and of course rock smash we can always buy more copies of okay what are you supposed to be it's a crabby yeah just knock you out real quick get some basic hp xp whatever no nope. they really made it seem like there was like gold in these things Oh, revive? Okay. Eh, you can come in handy later. Never know. Just not in battle. Come on. Show me the money. No whammies. Or just nothing at all. Alright, well, I just wasted everyone's time there. Okay, that's great. Uh, there might be a couple more down here. No. Um, where's the Shuckle guy? Is he in here? I'm in shock! A guy about your age with piercing eyes and long hair came in. He scared me into giving him my prized Pokemon. I still have one left, but what if he comes back? You look strong. Could you look after my Pokemon for a while? Your Pokemon party is full! It's probably Shuckle, and I, I don't see me using shuckle we only can use so many mons and we're not doing it if we were doing a dex entry run of course yeah totally different but we're not so um okay we're back in the gym and we have strength so a little tie rogue do your thing hey no one's supposed to be able to finish that puzzle i am i'm mad he probably, he probably set it up himself. That was like one of Chuck's like assignments for him. Black belt lung. It sounds like a like a product for like artificial lungs. Okay, let's make this quick work. Hopefully, uh, Albert can get a level or two through the XP share. Before the battle. I know there's at least one change to the team. But I can't remember what it was. I think Polarath got pulled. For somebody else. Can't really remember. There we go. Alright there's at least one. I don't even think we need to go back to the Pokemon Center, honestly. We healed up when we got Tyrogue, and, uh, okay. Alright, cool, and Shack leveled up. I was gonna say, if it was Borderline, I would've gone out and, like, beat some Magikarp or something. hoo -ah! I got shattered! A shattered lung. Nobody wants that. Alright, yeah, um, every, everyone is, uh, pretty much at 100% health. I mean, just, uh... Shaq just has a couple PP points down. I'll just go for it. Wah! So you've come this far. Let me tell you, I'm tough. My Pokemon will crush stones and shatter bones. Watch this. There. 
scared now, are you? What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon? That's true! Come on, we shall do battle here! Very irritating to the throat. Let's get some beverage. That's good beverage. Leader Chuck wants to battle. Oh, I hit him on top. Okay, I do remember. I do remember Smith mentioning hit him on top. Now, question is, these guys are probably gonna have some kind of like some counters to everything, right? Let's say. Mm hmm. Okay. Of course. Of course. Of course. Pursuit. And oh, okay. Not not the kind of start I wanted. I mean, I hit him on top. Outdoing Shaq there. I don't even I think put berries on or anything like that. Alright, yeah, we're gonna have to switch you out because there's no sense of letting you get knocked out. Oh, we could have kept Vaporeon. Could have kept that Velicious. Ugh! I've never ever seen Machoke's back sprite. Now, wouldn't Pursuit have come in there and just, like, killed me? Mm, that did not do as much as I thought it would. Let's see, a low kick does any better. Oh, the flinch. Okay, we'll take that. All right, um, we might run with Porky because at this point, um, Shaq might be like an all or nothing. Okay, he does still have Poliwrath. Um, I think we just lost. Unless um, Shaq can make a comeback and um, let's see, what can see? We never use Seismic Toss. Oh boy, you read my mind. Yeah. Maybe I'll throw the earth on you. How about that? Okay, now let's compare that to Karate Chop. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, not doing so great. Yeah, keep reading my mind. See what's going to happen. Wait, is this like a smart AI thing? Is Mind Reader psychic? And because Machoke is fighting and it's good AI, it's going to keep... Oh, no, this stupid thing. Oh, no. I forgot about Dynamic Punch. Wake up. Please wake up. Please wake up. You're confused and asleep. I totally forgot about Dynamic Punch. That's deadly. Can you wake up, please? And not be confused. Oh, wow. You're really, you're really sleepy, aren't you? With a quick... Oh, man. That's a lot of sleep. Get up. Come on. Wake up. Yeah. Or not. Just don't. That's fine. Okay. Um, Shaq, I feel best about you, but it's got to it, it's gotta be like all or nothing right now, man. Crit. Something will be nice because you know uh, he's going to have like Ice Punch or something. Ah! Okay. He's confused. Knock yourself out. Knock yourself out. Knock yourself out. There we go. Remember what I said about confusion only working if you were the opponent? Today's the day there's change. Okay, big, big help there. Thank you. And Albert grew up because uh, I think we're, we're kind of under leveled here. All right, now here's the deal with Prime Mabe. Same thing. We, we use a one-shotter here because that, that, that sucker is going to have... Rock Slide, Thunder Punch, or something. I just realized Onyx definitely was not the person to bring her. Oh, whatever. doesn't matter. Hooray. Hooray. What? I, what? I, I lost. How about that? You're worthy of Storm Badge. Was that the same voice earlier? I received Storm Badge. Okay, so that, that battle made me sweat a little bit. Storm Badge makes all Pokemon up to L70 obey, even traded ones. It also lets your Pokemon use fly when you're not in battle. Talk to uh, Priscilla outside for the fly HM. I, I can't remember her name. 
That is dynamic punch. It doesn't always hit, but when it does, it causes confusion. Well done. Well, well done, everyone. So let's get what we rightfully deserve, which is fly. Yeah, I crossed the sea to get here. That's Sinowood's gym badge. You beat my husband. Da, 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 da. Teach Fly to your Pokemon. You will be able to fly instantly to anywhere you visited. My husband lost to you, so he needs to train harder. That's good, because he was getting a little chubby. We'll stop making him, you know, deep-fried donut cheeseburgers. Ooh, that does sound good right now. So, alright, let's go heal up, and then, okay, we could just fly right back to uh, Olivine. But I know there are a few little... I don't know what you want to call it, like, quirky spots in which we can now access with Surf. So I actually would like to go do that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get Vaporeon back in the team. We're going to get Vlicious back in the team. And then uh, you'll just see where we end up. So it may come as a surprise to nobody. We flew to Goldenrod, taught Fly to Albert, and deleted Wing Attack. Uh, it just seemed like the most sense to me. So, Hypnosis, Psybeam, Fly, and Mud Slap, not a bad move set at all. Although, Mud Slap, I don't know how long it's going to stay. I kind of had it there for the uh, Morty battle. And Vlicious is back, ending Tyrogue's Reign of Terror in this party. So, what we got to do is we do have two Pokemon over at the daycare. And we should go get them out of there. So, we're going to have to... Just like that, <laughs> get rid of two of you fools for a brief period of time. So, Vlicious, it's been great. But uh, I won't take them off the screen. They're, they're really, I'm really just putting them away so we can get the two out of the daycare. So, let's see. One was uh, Hoppled and the other was an uh, Eevee that we named Sterling. Are we geniuses or what? Want to see your Sterling? Your Sterling has grown a lot. By level, it's eight. Oh, that's good. It'll cost you 900 Yeah, sure, sir. Alright, so we got back Sterling, which is an Eevee, and then... Oh, we geniuses of what? Want to see your hotboard? Your hotboard has grown a lot by level. It's grown by two. That doesn't seem like much. Jeez. Okay, so we got hoppled and we got um, Sterling back. So Sterling's a 13 Eevee. Did anything happen to... No, it looks like this is about the same, so... Um... Debating on whether or not I want to bring Hoppled back, and actually, uh, I think about it, it might be, it might be Onyx's turn. It might be Rocky's turn. I'm just thinking. I'm thinking ahead as to what we have to face. Um. So I guess just to switch it up and um. See things through. Let's put in. Oh, we got deposits throwing too. Yeah, let's let's bring back Hoppled. It's had to stay at the. Where's? Oh, I just gotta withdraw. Um. Albert, right? Where's Albert? I mean, there's still an egg too. It, it's another Eevee, by the way, in case anyone knows that the other egg is Eevee. So we now have. So yes, we have Hoppled back to kind of experiment. No, not the experimenting that you've done in college um, but the other reason we're coming over here is I know we can access this little patch over here of water and there's like an island of oh I didn't want to fish an island of three trainers and I think they give you soft sand or something which is ironic because we just deposited uh, our um, ground type Pokemon but uh, we got some under leveled mons here and let's actually switch out some of the XP items let's get the XP share to Hoppled. Or actually, no, I think we can have Hoppled actually kind of like run in the battle. And um, I'm going to, let's give it to Vlicious actually. Let's give it to Vlicious. And I believe we can also get Mystic Water. That was the other thing we were going to do. Um, also to kind of give us some, you know, more content here because going to the lighthouse and going to the lake of rage is really not going to take that long of a time and i still want to give us a you know somewhat entertaining episode but of course that would uh involve me actually being entertaining in the first place so i'm gonna put 
Let's put Quilliam up front. Or no, let's put Hopwood up front, as I was just saying. Hopwood could probably... Because I feel like there's going to be water mons over here. And if not, if not, then, like, whatever. We just switch. You know, it's not that serious. Okay, become Red Lapras instantly from Vaporeon. Oh, there's a ball here, too. The Nugget. All right, so that's, like, what, 5,000 Poké Dollars we just found? Okay, so this is uh, tricky here because this is... So really, uh, now that I think about it, this is an item like itemless three times in a row because the way that they lined up these trainers were battling all three in succession. So this is like an all or nothing. Well, I mean, I guess if you white out to one of them, you can come back and you only have to battle the remaining ones. But we obviously want to do this in one go. Okay, so she's first. Kia, someone found us. I found y'all, but you, won't, you didn't really seem to be doing much of anything. Yep, yep, that's right. I remember there seemed to be water users over here. Kind of under level two, I know that it's on this route that's pre-Goldenrod, but you can only get over here with Surf. We're certainly going to like work to like turn around and like go there right this second. Uh, right after getting Surf, I mean. So I'm I'm thinking about our second EV and if we would rather go and the route of making it a Jolteon, we'd have two evolutions in the party. I'm gonna put this guy to sleep because I feel like they're gonna like peck me or something. Okay, yeah. And I was saying in one um video, are the evolutions overrated? Um, there's that one girl. Is it in? Scarlet and Violet, who her whole team is just evolutions. Okay, that didn't do much. At all. Eh, throw some leech seed on it, why not? There you go, slowly but surely. There we go. Okay, so that takes care of the first one. So, again, if we were to white out, which I hope not, at least this first one is defeated Irene. And Vlicious is growing up. Very good. Oh, too strong. Yo. You can't beat Irene and go unpunished. Hey, yo. I have such a dirty mind, Joey. Like, I like that character now, by the way. I invented her in the episode three highlights. And Joey, if you lost the context of what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the gamer chick cat. Okay, so it's probably going to be Star You and Star Me. I think there's like a theme here. So actually a good call that we brought out, uh, Hoppled. Just had uh, someone throw a box down the basement. Remember, I am doing this from my parents' basement. And that is a nice thing about uh, going to pause OBS, but if that were live, y'all would have heard a box being thrown down here. Would it have affected anything? Probably not, but just thought you should know. Now, Stormy is a Pokemon I always liked using. The dual typing, um, you know, Psychic was so strong in Gen 1. And also, just the 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 range of moves that Stormy could learn. It's a cool design. That is a Pokemon I would like to run with. But we've got Kadabra. I've never gotten to have an Al Alkazam on my team. So, it, it's a little different now. But... 
you can even get star you this early in the game i guess maybe in the world islands you can I thought about going. Well, I, I, I thought about going to the World Islands on the way to Siena, but then I, I forgot that you actually need Whirlpool to get through it, and not even for like Lugia or anything. I was even thinking about Horsey, Cedra, and Kingdra, another option. There's Slow King, and then doesn't Politoed get King's Rock as well? Fall through King's Rock, but Politoed's like a weird looking dude. Okay, so this is concerned. Well, I know Starmie has a high special. I'm like, we're, we're pumping out like 12 Mega Drains on these fools. There we go. <laughs> so sorry, Irene, sis. Yeah, this family's being brought to shame. Uh, mom's calling. Hold on. Hi, Joey, how are you? Well, shopping today, I saw this adorable doll. Same photo with your money. Sorry, it's in your room, you'll love it. Oh, okay, so they give you a little pause before you uh, battle the boss here. What's her name? Like, uh, Gr Gorilla? Oh, Kate, close enough. You sure were mean to my little sisters. Has anyone told any NPC you can carry more than two Pokemon? The Shelter and Cloyster. Okay, yeah, so uh, the theme here is Pokemon that have a uh, second evolutionary stage. Two of them evolved by uh, the stone, and the other one doesn't. Oh, beautiful. Too bad we're going to, like... Use up another one right here. But I, I don't even know if Hoplet is going to have the best chance against Cloyster anyway. It's going to be four times weak to ice. But we will give it the old college try. I don't see the real need to switch out. But yet again, yet again, you don't get EXP when you're knocked out. So let's, let's, let's bring out Porky. Yeah, that was going to be a one-hit KO, so. Oh, that, that that did pretty good work, too. Um, Karate Chop, try to go. Oh, now it's speeded. Okay, well, look at my uh, salty buns. Oh, by the skin of its teeth. Oh, okay, very nice. Uh, can you outspeed? Nope. Okay. Didn't realize that heavy... Suggestive looking Pokemon was that fast. Um, let's just, you know, Shack, just finish it off. There we go. Okay. Well, sorry, Porky. No, I can't believe I lost. Really? Y'all are basically a, a diet water gym over here you're too strong i didn't stand a chance here you deserve this soft sand was... all right so, sorry about that everyone i'm running out of space now i did get an external hard drive i just uh neglected to to boot it up yet so uh y'all didn't notice but i definitely did so um I'll just keep an eye out for that so okay we defeated them yeah, that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Now let's go get Mystic Water or Super Water, whatever they call it. Oh, heal up too. Okay, and then this guy, I don't think you have to battle him or anything. I think he's just like, whoa, you, you got here somehow? Whoa, you got here somehow? No. I don't need it. Here you go. Alright, so we'll give that over to Vlicious. And we really just need to think of something to give Albert. What I'd like Albert to have 
is what is it like pink scarf is for the normal types and then if albert can be taught return get the um stab with that let's give xp share honestly to quilliam i mean he really hasn't uh had a lot of uh battle time lately um so what is today it is wednesday daytime so what is the item for today the it's wesley what does he what does he give you no i don't care about their quotes i just want to know like what they're going to give me uh lake of rage of black belt so we will be at lake of rage today so we may as well pick that up when we head over there uh, i'm just trying to think is there any other like oh yeah we gotta go to the light duh, duh. gotta go to the lighthouse but in fact let's uh go over to goldenrod again and see if that lady will give me it doesn't have to be Wait, I can't remember now. Does she actually give you the TM for return or... Because then I can't remember if it's a TM that like then is sold to you at the shop. I thought that there was a lady that showed up at the Goldenrod shop now and then um, to give you return. But let's see. It gets the feeling it really trusts me. So, no, not yet. Um, let me buy a haircut real quick. Albert, you need a, you need a shape up. Because, I mean, we're not, sorry, dude, we're not running with a Pokemon that needs happiness to evolve. So here's the one who's not as good. Welcome to Pokemon Salon. I'm the younger and more butt cheeks of the two haircut brothers. I'll spiff your Pokemon up for $300, so how about it? Sure. Spiff up, Albert. Okay, I like it. Look cool. Hey, there we go. All done. Albert looks delighted. Man, like, Albert looks pissed. Yeah, because it that's really the only reason we would be getting get haircuts. Um, I'm looking at the Goldenrod store because sometimes they'll have some sort of like special event going on. I can't remember what it was. Okay, this is the no, we don't need this. Oh, wait, 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 that's the roof right there. Um, well, I'm tired. I sometimes come out to the roof to have to take a break from shopping. All that shopping. Oh, wow. Will you quit bothering me? Oh, wow. Will you quit bothering me? Why would we put him in the game? Hey, some trainers are battling on the road. A Pokemon fired a flurry of leaves. That makes me feel like battling right now. There's these binoculars. Let me see far away. Maybe I can see my own house. Is it the one with the green roof? I don't think it had a green roof. They had buggy sets here every so often. Pardon? Who says an adult can't get into this? I'm going to break every day to collect all the dolls. It's a doll machine. A vending machine for Pokemon dolls. Insert money, then turn the crank. But it's almost empty. Uh, there's a random AP, AP, <laughs> NPC that will let you know uh, when they have a sale. There, but I can't remember which one it was. Uh, let's get out of here and actually play this game. Cause... Have I groaned yet? No, I don't think so. I'm looking at the, the over. I don't think I have. I honestly don't think I will. But that sounds very confident to me uh, before we've even... Uh, so let's go get the lean back to Ampharos. Definitely not battling Jasmine in this episode. Um, in fact... She is still listed as gym leader number six. But there's really no reason to rush it. You have such a long side quest in the first rocket hideout. Well, the rocket hideout that there's really no need to do it why not wait until you have typhlosion um why not wait till vaporeon's a little more leveled up because i know steelix is gonna have you know steelix is still a ground type you know there's no point in battling her right now just because the game says so ouch all right what's up girl uh, was that medicine, Karen MV? I'm putting my mouth right up to the mic to talk like her, because she's supposed to be quiet. I handed the lean to Jasmine. Um, please don't be offended. MV will not take anything from anyone but me. I don't give a... I don't give a... A fooey... Foo? MV, how are you feeling? 
<laughs> Palu Palulu. Oh, I'm so relieved. This is just so wonderful. Thank you so very much. I will return to the gym and not give you any compensation. I also warn you, steel types are powerful. Oh, thanks. Thanks for that. Wait, wait, so you mean you're not, like, going to drop through every hole in the floor to get down there? All right, so Ampharos is better. I guess he gets to just hang out and d dance and twerk all day. Yeah, there's a bed for him. There's those uh, crumpets and coffee that you're not allowed to have. I don't think there's anything else up here for us. I know, like, other little prizes. All right, so let us get out of here. Do, 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 Come on. There we go. I mean, hey, just like that, you know, three of our objectives are complete. I didn't really know what else could to really think of. But, I mean, at this point in the game, I mean, really... You really have to stop and think, like, how much of the game you have completed. You only have three gym badges left in Johto. And it's a good thing you've got these two side quests with the rockets. Otherwise... You'd be done Johto so fast, especially when you're a 32-year-old man playing a game for children. So let's just fly back. Now, I could very well fly to Mahogany because I think off-stream I came over to Mahogany when facing the Fisherman Tully, who did call me off recording, by the way, for a rebattle. But we'll just go to Ecritique and just uh, now we can surf over there. And I can't remember. There are a bunch of berries uh, on this path. Whether or not they're worth grabbing, I can't remember. But in a game where we don't can't we, we can't use items in battle, we may as well grab them. So let's go grab uh Paris real quick just for this short little trek. Um Shaq, you can survive for a little bit in the PC. And then yeah, Paris. Okay, and you know, considering that this is not a dex run, it, is Mount Mortar even necessary at all? Because I know that there was one prize, and that was Tyrogue. Well, we got a Tyrogue already, and we could easily make more. And I didn't realize at the time, but you could actually cut through here to get out on the other side. You don't need any HM. To my surprise, you would think that the developers, um, both original and modern, oh yeah, Sweetkins over there is going to trigger a mini event. That Australian guy is going to come out. Let's see, will he? Bye. No, nope. okay, completely pointless. Uh, are these berries actually like good? Oh, it's apricorn. We're not going to use apricorns. We're not going to use apricorns. I'm I'm really upset that I went and got Paris for this. So in here, this is if you want to, uh, I don't even know why I really came in here. What, we, what was the point of coming in here? I mean, we could dig out of here, but we're not doing a dex run or anything. Okay, I mean, that's nice. We're not doing a dex run, and I don't remember there being that many trainers in here. There was one I battled when getting the water stone from Tully. And I think you need Waterfall at some point here, too, which we don't have. And a funny story about Waterfall. The first time that I played Gold and Silver. Um, I don't know when, if ever, this was corrected. But there was never any, to my knowledge, kind of context or sign that Waterfall was an HM hidden in the ice path. And it wasn't even in a spot like right here or something like that, that was like a glaring sign, hey, this is a very pivotal item in this game that you need to finish the game. And I remember I was like, okay, well, who learns who learns Waterfall? And I was about to level up like a Goldene or Sea King because it still learned Waterfall, at least from the guide saying that it did. Ah, speaking of which, let's just get out of here. Um, let's just get out of here, like, really get out of here. Quilliam used dig on water. Dig underwater. 
Yeah, complete complete waste. I I don't know. I can't remember if in the remake that that became something better or not. Um, but totally a useless area on the game. So let's get healed up here. So I think we're gonna have a battle or two over here. In fact, Tully, like I said, called me off the uh, recording to challenge me. So let's get hoppled up front. Because I know he only leaves with a um, quillfish. I've been doing more than just fishing since we last met. You're in for a big surprise. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm deleting your number. I'm deleting your number. Still quillfish. Oh, that's right. The poison is going to, like, neutralize it. I forgot about that. All right. I think we got to switch out of you, dude. Mm, forgot about that. Let's go with Quilliam figuring it's going to hit me with another poison attack, and I can hit, hit it with Dig. Yeah. Did Quillfish ever get an evolution? Pufferfish are, are, are weird looking things, dude. That's going to be a team effort. Uh, Alright, come on. You can give it one more dig. So again, wh whether or not it's worth to get Jolteon. I, I get, we have a Thunderstone from Dana last, last Dana or whatever. And I suppose there's nothing wrong with evolving it it's really early but it's not like gen one where they were like stuck in whatever if i'm like learning moves what that's not right neither is what you're doing outside of fishing so yeah this is the guy once again um if you need a water stone prior to uh kanto you can come to this guy but uh, again you have to kind of do a trick with the uh, manipulating the the uh, daylight savings in the game to kind of speed it up. Okay, now they don't need a revive, but um, I can't remember if I battled these guys over here or not. And I could honest, if I did, then I'm just wasting these super potions. Completely wasting them. Yeah, I battled you already. Did I battle you? Yeah, I battled you. Yeah, I just, I just, I just. I just wasted two uh, super potions. That's cool. All right, heal up, and let me uh, switch out who we have. Let's get Shaq back on the team. Yeah. So not what we just bowed this guy. Yeah, I paused it, but that was only like a, a minute gap. Tully calling us back. Hello, Tully here. What a perfect day for fishing. We should get a battle going. I'll be fishing on Route 42. Swing by if you have the time. Yeah, why not? Let's just battle him and get the EXP. In fact, speaking of which... You're holding it, right? You're holding EXP share, right? Yes, you are. Uh, yeah, you may notice that quickly. Um, yeah, I put Hoppled back in the PC and brought back out Rocky. My thought process being... Uh, couple things one i'm actually not really impressed with how hopple performed and the poison quillfish reminded me with the rocket um chapter about to start we're going to see a lot of poison pokemon and hopple is just going to be a really of no help yeah you've been doing more than f just fishing right yeah i said i was going to delete your number and but I guess it is good to have these numbers to get rebattles going. I mean, all EXP. I, I think this is something Smith address Smith address use Smith addresses in this um, hack because again, it, it the the EXP the leveling inconsistency is so bad in like the second half of Johto. All right, so the shack is back and. I kind of honestly want to put... I see, like, I, I don't want to give up on Hoppled, but right now is definitely not a good time in the um, game, in the run for him. 
So I would like to put Hopple back in the daycare. I, I, it's funny, I never really thought about this with the daycare, how you kind of have, it's like having a player on the bench and still getting some um, EXP and everything. So I know we just picked them back up, but why not? Let's just put them back in. So let's get hoppled and i'm even thinking the eevee again sterling i'm thinking about sterling again because i've already taught so much or magnemite i don't know uh, no nah, i don't want to want to carry the steel four times a week to to ground even though and then it'll be still weak to other things so let's get sterling back in the show and let's get hopple back in there because like i said again i don't i don't it's not that hopple doesn't provide some use but it has been under leveled and right now it's going to be in a chapter of the game that it's not going to bode well in so oh we have all boys and of course these two will not breed so we're not going to get some weird uh eevee blossom thing Okay, so we got two mods back in the daycare. I wonder, actually, this might be a neat opportunity to um, put that as a graphic on screen. That actually may not be a bad idea. I kind of like that idea. Uh, Porky and Rocky, their names are so similar. Um, maybe for the next episode. Right now, we already have so much going on the screen. It would probably be, if anything like two cells underneath where you see um vaporeon and onyx to kind of be like all right well they're still part of this party matter of fact you, you know what i have the power of technology here i can just pause it and do it okay that that's not the worst okay i mean we'll, we'll work on like the presentation of it so i mean i basically just made both the objectives and the why are you betting things smaller i mean if you guys like that that's definitely more of a backyard football thing but this is also good for me so i don't forget about the two of these and these two can be potential um, members of the party later never really considered that the fact that if you have a pokemon that is not going to fare well in a certain part of the run you know you can only give xp share to one pokemon you may as well you know pff, give it to a pokemon that you could rely on to battle why not put those two in the daycare? So, yep, Hoppled and Eevee back in the daycare. And from here on, um, I think everyone else is good to go. I think Quilava with the XP share is still fine. Um, yeah, the experiment worked like a charm. Magikarp are just worth this. But Gyarados are big money makers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Welcome, I may help you. You can buy a TM21. Oh, interesting. It's frustration. Okay, I, I read it too early. I thought it said an attack based on loyalty. So, well, that's neat. They sell you frustration here. Uh, they sell you roar. Slow poke tails, tiny mushrooms, pokeballs, potions. I don't think we need anything from here. I don't. I don't want anything else from you. Um, did they? Did they always do that? Sell you the TM for frustration? Oh, I thought there was the rock arts are here. Only people headed up to the Lake of Rage have been through here lately. Good to know. So I remember. Well, first off, you're probably a trainer. Yeah, you are. I could do so much with my Pokemon. It's super fun. Ew! Ew! <laughs> Sancho is like, hey, yo, what's up? Um, I had Shaq leading off because I'm expecting all the, like, Golbats and Grimers and stuff. Mmm. Yeah, just just wait. I was gonna say I want to switch out again. Now I gotta waste a turn. Uh, it's just it's just nice having a water type on your team. I know, like surface, but at least surf is a great HM battle wise. 
Shaq grew to 30. I think 36 is when it's supposed to go to Alakazam. Quilliam grew to 27. This is where not having, like, Ice Beam uh, hurts. Um, let's just get... Let's just get... Actually, you know what? Brocky can throw some rocks at it. Now, again, this is the part I don't know, and part of me doesn't want to know because I don't want to spoil the fun, is... Uh... All right, there's the first one. I think that's my first groan this whole episode. Wow. Um, no, maybe I groaned for the hypnosis... All right, so maybe there's been two. Okay. So we're still looking good. Um, level cap. Level cap for the gym leaders because this is a part of the game that really has opened. And we could go to either Price or to Jasmine. Jasmine is technically the next gym leader. Oh, come on. All right, that's th that counts. Sorry, that counts. Jasmine, according to the badges in the menu, is considered the next gym leader. We know we can't get to Claire. You can't get to Claire without beating the other seven. Wow, I just realized that. Oh, I'm so smart. Or not. Just like in Gen 1, you couldn't face Giovanni without all seven badges. Losing isn't fun at all. Got that right. You are prevented from going to Blackthorn without having completed the whole chapter with the radio tower and you don't trigger that until you have gotten seven gym badges whatever it may be even if i guess you could theoretically make chuck your last gym badge you just wouldn't have fly for the entire run okay so in if you go through this booth you get bombarded by some riff rappers and have to pay a toll i don't know do, do you fight them or you just pay the toll Hold it there, kiddo. The toll is $1,000. Damn. I don't remember it being that expensive. Do I get to fight you? Hee <laughs> hee We're making a bundle. Everyone wants to see what's going on at Lake Rage. Hee <laughs> hee We're making a bundle. Everyone wants to get to see what's going on at the Lake of Rage. Be your own individual person. I know if we come back later, we can get Sludge Bomb from the um, guard. But I thought... Uh, I seem to remember there being like an option that you didn't have to pay the toll. You could fight them. Are you going to Lake of Rage 2? Let's play for a little while. <laughs> Lake of Rage must be popping. Pinnaker Tiffany with her one Pokemon. Alright, well you're still strictly a normal type, so let's bring out Porky to lay down some work. Ah, so peaceful. Hmm. Try encoring me when I'm asleep. Yay! Keep sleeping. You want to encore that? Sure. I was going to use it again anyway. That's me encoring you. How about that? Do 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 do. I play too much. <laughs> yeah, a lot of women say I play too much. But I only got one now, baby. If you're listening, I know you're not, but I, I it's just you, baby. Baby, it's you. You're the one I love. You're the one I need. Come on, baby, it's you. Oh. Nice try there. Oh, a far fetch it to I bet you can uh, cut down trees. Oh, what am I doing? Speed this up, it's a wild battle. Okay, it's so Aquilium with a double bubble right now. Does anyone need to be healed up? I don't think so. No, everyone's pretty good. Delicious, but we can get through it. Hey, do you have any rare Pokemon? What's your name? What's your last name? Ugh. Tell me this guy's a flasher. Whoa! <laughs> Always fun. 
Uh, again, why waste time? Just bring out Porky. I'm wondering if the teaching of dynamic punch is going to be worth it to Porky, just because that accurate that accuracy is so bad, and it works for Pokemon like Polarath with Mind Reader, but if it's to that point, you know, it's basically almost like having a two turn attack, but worse. Um, Albert, let's get you in there because uh, Quilliam has the XP share. Mm. Okay. Oh, I forgot it's side beam too. I'm that quick to forget that, but eh, stab. We might also this might be a good time to actually teach Shadow Ball to Shack. Oh wait, we don't guys yes, we don't need teleport anymore. We have fly. I totally forgot about that. Totally forgot about that. Oh my poor Poke. Mon, darlings. Yeah, that's a good idea right now while we're thinking of it. Because I'm the type of person, again, I'll mention something like this and then totally forget about it. I did say once we got Fly, we can get rid of Teleport. Since Teleport's really just a diet version of Fly for the early game. And I know we're probably going to end up facing like Drowsy and some... Oh, that's right. We did get rid of Teleport. We gave it Headbutt. But we can always get headbutt again if we really, really, really need it. Recover may still come in handy, given that that we're we're doing itemless battles here. Meow, meow, meow. Okay, speed this up. Oh, Flaffy. Ah, you jerk. Ah, that's what you get. Death in exchange for paralysis. Uh, Paralyze. Ah, very first item. Perfect. Would you get this? Some butt. <laughs> Some butt guy made fun of my Pokemon. Darn it, my Pokemon's great. I love how notorious Butt is in this game. I can't remember if Blue had the same treatment where, you know, he was talked about by everyone. Certainly he beat you to all the uh, gym leaders, so there's that. Yeah, I think we will wrap it up when we get to land. I mean, we'll do other things at the lake. Oh, that's right. You have to play, play, battle the Red Gyarados to trigger Lance. I totally forgot about that part, too, so... I don't care about catching the Red Gyarados. It's just not necessary. I don't know. I, you know, especially given that Gyarados is more of an attacker than a special attacker. So giving it Surf and having that be like, oh, that's our Surfer for the uh, game isn't going to really do a whole lot. I know it can learn like Waterfall and things, but cross that bridge when we get there. Charmeleon is definitely one of the cooler middle stage Pokemon, I will say. Okay. That's not a groan. That's just okay. I feel like a water Pokemon shouldn't get burned, even though there is Scald. Um, and I know there's other things that we, we get to do at Lake of Rage. It's not just uh, the... Gyarados. Uh, Youngster Joey. Yo, Joey. How's it going? It's me, you. You got a minute? My Rattata's looking sharper than before. I doubt there's a Pokemon as cool as this guy. And I took down a Caterpie in the wild the other day. It was a cakewalk. I guess it can't be helped, us being so tough. Alright, later. Yeah, that poor Caterpie just didn't know what was coming. Um, 
We want to give a... We need full, I don't think we have a burn heal. We got to give it a full heal. And I guess you could use some uh, health shack. And let's put Rocky out in front. Now Rocky's down to 26. The shuffling of level mons. And I think off recording, I'm going to try to do a, a metal coat hunt. I love Pokemon. That's why I started and why I'll keep on collecting Pokemon. I'm getting kind of hungry too. Unrelated to that, but. Okay. Uh, Pokemon Maniac Ben wants to battle. I wonder if he's he DJ Ben? Okay, definitely not keeping you out here, Rocky. That's a, like a death wish waiting to happen. Bring out Shaq. Trying to think it was better to go for Thunder Punch or for Shadow Ball. I'll try Thunder Punch first. Oh, my word. I wasn't sure because of um, Shaq's low attack. Or is it because in Gen One, I can't. I, Gen One, Gen Two, they're considered special attacks. I can't. I can't remember. I can't remember all this riffraff. Cool aims at twenty nine. Ah, I see what you did there. You had War Toil. The other guy had Charmeleon, and the other girl had Ivysaur. Ah, I never picked up on that. Ah, what do you know? How could you do this to me? Yeah, I had no choice. Okay, so we are now at Lake of Rage, which does also trigger uh, our ability to fly here. So, I'm, I know this is weird to say. I'm going to heal up because I you have to defeat or catch the Gyarados. You can't run from it. And if it knocks you out, then it's like the equivalent of losing to a, an NPC trainer. Come on, lady. And we fly back. And people always say, oh, I think the Lake of Rage was supposed to be a town because you could fly to it. I mean, maybe. I mean, I, I think it would have made sense maybe for like a, I don't know, like a Pokemon Center or some like neat gift shop or something. Over here is the guy that if you catch like a certain size Magikarp, he gives you like a... Like a coupon to um, Burger Royalty. I'm not saying their name. I'm just trying to see if there's any other fun areas to check out. Well, here's a guy. I'm in a slump. Maybe it's the gear I'm using. Let's bow for a change of pace. Didn't you just say you're going to heal up to face Red Gyarados? I did just say that. You're right. But Fisher Marvin wants to battle. Speaking of which... It's crazy how you know, the lesson with Magikarp, and they teach you this in the what the strategy guide for Red and Blue, because I there's always that Magikarp that you can buy at the Mountain Moon Pokemon Center. Oh, okay, that's a groan. I think that's oh, oh, I forgot about that. That might be that might be three. I can't remember. It's it's definitely after this. It definitely oh, okay. Completely did not take that in consideration. We actually might lose. I don't want to, but we could. Uh, um, Rocky, give it a shot. Uh, what I was getting at was was how early you could really get Gyarados because it's only level 20 that you get Gyarados. It's not even a matter of, oh, you got to train up this magic card. For, it just felt like forever in kid time and... If you're not playing at an accelerated speed, then you're swapping in and out. All right, so we have to keep that in mind for the Red Gyarados because I was planning on leading off with Shaq because he has Thunder Punch four times a week to Thunder to Electric. But at least Rocky was able to give it some rock throws. Let's see if that's the case again. Okay, it's another Gyarados. I could screech it too to get the because it's not gonna it's not gonna do another knockout so I might hit it with 
Actually, let's hit it with Screech right now, see what happens. Maybe we can still take it down. Two levels of defense drops. This one doesn't seem okay. Yeah, let's let's see. Can you can we hit it? If not, we're definitely setting up. Uh, okay, perfect, wonderful. Okay, that was an, I was not expecting that to be a close call, but it was. Rocky's trying to learn rage, even though we're at the Lake of Rage. Nah. I lost, but I feel better anyway. That's always good. It's, it's rare that you feel good being a loser in this life. Uh, fur it. Um, too weak. Um, now, over here, I think we're going to have to... I think we actually need cut or something to... Yeah. Um, there is somebody over here that's going to give us the item... Um, let's pause this and, uh, let stations identify. We're going to pause for station identification. Okay, we healed up one more time. Now let's actually go battle the Red Gyarados, because that will trag, trager, pff, trigger Lance to show up. Talk to him, and that'll be it for the recording. I'm probably going to do some stuff off recording. Like, find that item that we need and stuff. Oh, there's an actual Gyarados. At 15, wow. Oh, yeah, that's, like, the whole point of the story. All right. Gayasha. And then our introduction to shiny Pokemon was right there. So, yeah, I think we, we have to take this guy out. Um, I'm going to hit with Screech first. Okay, so it's, it's not running a normal attack yet. Or pff, not running a water attack yet, so that's good. Uh, let's just bring his defense down, and uh, then we'll throw some rocks at it. Especially if we're getting a not very effective attacks. Hmm. But dang, that's that was with two screeches. Jeez. All right. Night. Night. Yeah, I'm, I was impressed on catching that. And we get the red scale. And then let's go. Oh! Okay, there's a man in a jacket as well. See what the heck this is all about, you know? What this could be. This lake is full of Gyarados, but nothing else. So the magic are being forced to evolve. Did you come here because of the rumors? Yeah, Joey. What's your name? What's your last name? I'm Lance, a trainer like you, except like you know the champion of you know the Pokemon League. This man here informed me of some rumors, so we came to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier, Joey. I could tell you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you come help us investigate? Sure. Excellent. It seems that Lake's Magikarp are being forced to evolve. We did run into one, though. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany's to call us. We'll be waiting for you, Joey. Oh, okay, so we don't know who he is. Okay. All right, uh, that's our cliffhanger, I guess. All right, um, cool. Thanks for watching. I don't know I don't know what the outcome of the bet is, but um, all right, see you. Bye.